So what is the solution to my productivity crisis? Well, I think it's pretty simple and it is just to refocus on implementing all the advice and best practices that I know and that have also worked for me in the past. And now I will give you and also my future self a brief overview over these. I think there are at least three prerequisites for being productive and effective. First, getting enough exercise in, second, having a good diet, and third, getting enough sleep. And another thing that is generally good for productivity, but also for various other things in life, is to meditate. And there are a lot of studies on that that say that meditation has a lot of benefits for your mind for uh, being more focused and happier probably in your life and especially it helps for being productive. So it is pretty overwhelming how many uh, high achievers and successful people in the world actually meditate and it is not something like far eastern woo-woo thing but it is just to be present in the moment and to not think about all the little details and things in life but just to you know to step out and <sighs> Give yourself a little headspace. So the hardest part about meditation is to actually do it on a consistent basis. So most people who try it fail at that. So I think the first time that I tried it was about a year ago but um, I couldn't make it consistently and now a few weeks ago I started again doing it maybe five out of seven days a week and yeah it probably has a positive effect on my life. But now to the actual tips or rules for how to be effective and more productive. The first one is don't try to do all the things faster but only do the right things fast enough. So imagine you could only achieve one to three things in one day. What would these things be? And then focus on only achieving these three things and don't care about the other things that you have to do or you think you have to do. And therefore it is very helpful to have a long-term list of goals or things that you want to achieve in maybe the next year or a couple months uh, because it is very easy to lose them out of sight in your day-to-day -day business. So by refocusing on them you make sure that you spend your time only on those things that really matter. And connected to that is Keep your quadrant two activities in mind. Those things that are not really urgent but still important because these are the ones that are most susceptible for being procrastinated on. So you should definitely prioritize working on these things rather than on the urgent but non-important things. So these things should make sure that you are actually productive and not just busy. And here are some techniques how to increase the output per day. The number one most important thing is to cut out distractions, mainly Facebook and other social media and checking email. So when I'm most productive, I only do it twice a day, that is once at noon, so for lunch and once at dinner. Second, try to go into deep work. That means focusing on your task at hand for a maximum of 90 minutes and be just immersed in that task. And then, you know, have 10 to 15 minutes of breaks in between. Also, don't multitask. Third, the most powerful tool or technique against procrastination is to split up your huge and insurmountable tasks into small chunks so that you can just start it. So starting a task is most important and don't focus on finishing it, just starting. Fourth is something that I haven't done in the past but I think will benefit me. Be accountable. So write down what you did during the day and how long it took you. So in the end you can go back and say, hmm, I wasn't actually that unproductive or yeah, I know exactly where I lost my time and where I was busy instead of effective. Fifth, Use the Parkinson's law to your advantage. Parkinson's law is that a task requires always exactly that amount of time that you allocate to it. So if you have a day for writing one page, then it will take a day. If you say, okay, I only have a half an hour, then 
you will do it in half an hour. So you can use that to your advantage if you set yourself deadlines during the day and week, whatever, that are pretty strict. But you need to take your own deadlines and goals seriously. Because if you don't, you break your own promises. And after a while, you don't trust yourself anymore. So these deadlines or goals become meaningless. So what that means practically is don't set the deadlines too strict and don't put too many items on your to-do list. So that feeds back to focusing on only one to three things during the day that are your number one priority. Oh, and um, identify your most productive time during the day. Uh, for most people it is shortly after getting up, so one to two hours, which is also now for me. And make this the time that you allocate to only achieving exactly these one to three goals. So as I said, this is a list that works for me, but it probably also works for almost everyone. So I hope you could take away a little bit from that and be more productive yourself.